Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M44, the Tier 6 American SPG. This one's located on the south spawn of Steps and it's under the command of Kamisaw. Or is it Kamisak? Kamisak, get it right. <laughs> he's, he's from the WPW clan. I thought that said Kamisaw. Yep. Kamisak. Game started. Now it's a 155mm howitzer capable of 550 alpha, penetrating 39mm of armour. Based on the Walker Bulldog hull, which means it's reasonably quick, and uh, well, he can get around out every 16 seconds. It's about slightly more than that by the book. First enemies coming to sight. Okay, he's knocked a tree down, which actually gives him a bit of cover, but it does also tell the enemy where he is. Um, okay, T29, T28, sorry, no. Fires at the T34. Oh my god, he got a bombardier! He took out both T-34 and the T-28 with one shot and earned himself a nice little medal. That's not bad start to the game. First shell as well. Okay, the M5 Stuart managed to avoid that shell. There's a, The rock in the centre there has actually got a gap between it, uh, two uh, spikes that uh, point up. And you can actually put a shell between that uh, those gaps if you're... Uh, lucky enough yeah you can see it there and hit the enemy tank behind i've done that a few times as well <laughs> quite annoying for the guy who's hiding behind the rock because he suddenly gets a shell where he thought he was safe okay the enemies made it south quite quickly see normally there's a contest on the east side of the map but these guys are really starting to come in and uh, when well, he fires one round oh and he kills the panzer 38 or actum died seek war art um, and he's now trying to run for cover now to uh, move away from them because they're just getting too darn close. You know, I don't think that's far enough actually. Well, they're actually four tanks up on the enemy, so they have been doing rather well. And their tanks are already starting to make it into the enemy tank area, or the enemy cap area. Rounds up. Shot right into the side of the air, Royal 44, who's taking a lot of heavy damage. Kamisak managed to get that rad, uh, that bombardier straight off, which actually gave him a a step up on the number of kills. And now he's got another one. That's four kills now. Enemy Alti's coming to sight. It's a 105 FH 18B2. They've also got a birch gun and a Hummel. Unfortunately, he loses sight of the Fifi, but you can still see these two, the Birch Gun and the Hummel. And he's actually aiming between them deliberately to try and take both out. Rounds out. Oh, he gets another Bombardier. So that's two Bombardiers with one shot. Wow. So he's now got a Top Gun out of that shot. And there's still two enemies out there, a T-34 and also... 105 little FH 18 and he's put in with the SU 85B on his team and I suspect that guy needs the number of kills to complete some mission he's asking could give me eight yes I think he wants eight kills rounds out goes long he was actually aiming directly at the target you need to lead the target just a little bit Okay, now he can get him almost loaded. Rounds out. And that is seven kills. And here comes the last enemy. It's a T-3485M. It's going to be a little more difficult to kill this guy. But he can do it. In fact, he needs the help of his teammates. If one of them get a shot into the guy, he can then shotgun him with the 155 and take him out. He has already been hit. So he's now low on hit points. He didn't want to come in and take on uh, Kamisak straight away. And now Kamisak has got the opportunity 
of taking him on. His teammates are coming in. He really needs the skill to get the Radleys. Come on, guys. Let him get it. I would go up there. I'd be very keen to do it. He's less keen to go up there himself. I think he wants the T-34-85 to fire and he's fired but he's hit the the Panzer Fear Alcelon H instead and now he's reloading. Can we get the shotgun? Go for it! Yes! Radley's by shotgun! So let's have a look at the second replay. And this game has now already started. You look at the Hummel, the tier 6 German SPG. And you're on the wide part map, North Spawn. And this one is under the command of Sandra 333PL. Oh, that, uh, that Panzer 38 or Acton Dicey NA has actually managed to find himself in a little hole there. Nice little uh, cubby hole. Not uh, safe for Marty though, actually. You can fire shells through that window. Okay, he's moving off into a fairly good area to fire from because there's a big gap here which gives you a wide arc. But he was spotted as he went through and that means the enemy RT is probably going to try and get him. The enemy RT is an SU-8 and he's also got the SU-5 and a gorilla. Okay, he's aiming south of the map, south of the railway line. I think he was trying to land a shot on that uh, KV-2. Just got hit by the SU-8, but it was a near miss. Just got a bit of splash. Going for the LI, dialing in. He's going to have to move from this spot shortly. Too late there. He can't stay here forever because the enemy RT will have another go. In fact, he's probably almost already almost lo loaded. Gonna try for the uh, Acton Dysig. Oh, round landed just outside the gate. We'll just just around the corner. Most of the enemy tanks are actually very close to the railway line, which makes it fairly difficult to get shots without hitting the railway carriages. And he finally gets a kill, the Panzer Acton Dysig New Art. Okay, enemy tank's been spotted in the corner, and it's an M881, but he's not going for that one. Well, at least he keeps moving his vehicle. I think he was actually moving in a view, going for the M8A1, American Tier 4 tank destroyer. Dialing in, and rounds out. Nope, went long. The M8, uh, the OI is actually pulled back behind those those coal pits. Not sure they're actually in the game now, or at least if they are, I don't recall seeing them for a while. KV2's gone behind them as well. He's actually made himself an easier target. Almost loaded. Nope, nothing off that. Well, this is a difficult game. You can see that one of our RT, the AMX 13 F3, is it not the AMX 13 F3? No, it's the AMX 13 AM, went round the corner and he got wiped out. So it looks like the enemy SU 8 has been trying uh, to get kills. In fact, actually, he has got two kills already, that guy. And the buildings are actually now in the way. Okay, he's decided to change position altogether. Can't shoot from there, but he might be able to shoot through the gap. So long as that uh, T28 with the F30 gun doesn't reverse back down the slope. Rounds out. And he got a blind kill on the Matilda. Okay, two tanks that he can take out. Well, one now because the IKV-103 just got wiped out. But he can kill that SU-5. He's just waiting for his reload to finish. 
Standard reload for the Hummel is 29.82 seconds. Oh, and there's the SU-8 who's hitting him earlier. And he's very low on hit points and he's gone. So he's going to go for the SU-5. Dialing in. Almost ready. That looks right. Rounds out. And he got another kill. So three kills now. There's an AMX ALC just around the corner being held off by a Stug 3G. I wait until you're reloaded before you go around that corner. In fact, he can do an aim shot, but he needs to be around the corner in order to do it. Guy's hiding behold, behind a, a, a pile of gravel. Unfortunately, the gravel's in the way. That's it. That's it. That's better. Right, can do it now. Dialing in and... That should be enough. Yep, got him. Four kills. Oh, it looks like that T28E with the F30 got wiped out. I'm looking at the uh, the list, the player list, and <coughs> it was actually a T28, and he's finally got the M8A1, but he was spotted. There's only one enemy RT left, it's the Gorilla, but the Gorilla is a very accurate RT, so he needs to get behind cover, otherwise that Gorilla's going to have him for breakfast. He pops out again, the OI is sitting in a position where he can spot. We put a round into him. He's trying to extend his range to get the red line to start on the tank. And it's worked. Because he now got that. Well, briefly had it. That's better. Rounds up. Just misses it. Hits the railway carriage instead. Trying to get shots without getting spotted. It's really difficult. It doesn't help that we've lost sight of the enemy. There's only three of them left. There's four on our team, so they should be able to uh, start moving towards the enemy territory. There's the AMX 13 AM. Yeah, he's made a bit of a wreck. He actually uh, chose to come around the corner and fire from that position, but I, I think it was a little too obvious. Oh, the OI's been spotted. Now, if he pulls back just a little, he can get shots by firing over the wall. But the OI's now gone into that corner. The KV-2... Well, he's just fired a dirt, but we're dialing in ahead of his position. Rounds out. Oh, it's so close, but too far away to do any damage. So he's now pre-aiming at the corner, waiting for the OI to come through. He could take him out with one shot. Would he be loaded in time? I hope so. It's the... Uh... Oh, he got a shot on the KV-2 and killed him. Now he's just got to get this OI and then it's deal with the gorilla. The... They haven't seen him yet, so that's why the gorilla is not firing at him. Go for it. No, it hits the building. K 
Okay, he's going to fire at the gate. Let's just hope he can get this shot on target. He's got his top gun. He just needs this kill if he's going to get the Radleys. Still the building's in the way. If the guy backs up a bit more, he might be able to get the shell over the building into the OI. There he's got a red line. Oh, yes, he gets it. So he's killed the OI. Now he has seven kills. That just leaves the Griller. And unfortunately, the Griller's just killed our Panzer Acton Dreisig Nur Art. Okay. Let's go find the Arty. More than likely, he will be in this corner. It's a much better place to actually fire from. And of course, you get the advantage of plenty of room or plenty of um, angles that you can shoot from. If you go behind the buildings, it's a little, little more difficult. Will he spot the uh, griller at the end of this road? Or will he find out that it's behind him? Oh, it is! It's at the other end! My gun! Now, he's got no shot because the buildings are in the way. The uh, the top gun on the, the Hummel actually has quite a low trajectory. So that's why it's much a, more of an advantage to have the stock gun, because it's got a higher trajectory and it's more accurate than this one. It looks like he's going to drive in and hit the gorilla face on. He tries aiming. Oh, and that failed. He tried the shotgun. He should have just driven up to the guy and shot him in the face. But he is low enough to hit points to take him out with a rammed kill. Go for it. Yes! <laughs> that was brutal. That's a Radley's. And that wins the game. Here's the end of battle results. And the first one, Kamisak managed to get an um, in the M44, managed to get a second class tanker. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get 14. And he got a Radley Waters medal for killing at least eight enemy tanks together with the Bombardier. In fact, that should be two Bombardiers because he got two kills, two Bombardiers by killing two enemy tanks with one shot. He got a Top Gun for getting at least six kills and he got a counter battery fire medal because he took out all the enemy RT in that game. He took out the Birch Gun, the Fifi, and he also managed to get the kill on the Hummel. Let's have a look at team score. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. That's why he hasn't got the high caliber because that was earned by the T3485M on his own team who got it for 1,632 hit points. Kamisak managed to get uh, third highest damage. The second highest being the T3485 that he shotgunned right at the end. He had 1,356 and Kamisak managed 1,016. But he did have the highest number of kills with eight. Three kills going to the T3485Ms on both teams. When it came to base XP, he's actually in second place because his own T3485M managed to get 854, he managed 784, and the Panzer Kampfwagen Vier Ausrung H managed to get uh, 524. He fired nine rounds in that game, got five direct hits, five penetrations, four splash. Damage of 1,016 hit points, of which 857 were at more than 300 meters. He damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 8 of the enemy, did 365 hit points of stun assist off one stun. On a premium count he earned 28,095 credits and after ammunition resupply took away 23,550 credits. He received 1,176 XP and there was no multipliers so that's all the experience points he took away but 2 bombardiers, 8 kills. I think he was very happy with that game. In the second game... Sandra 333PL was it was a little more difficult for her. She managed to get a third class tanker in that game and also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got 12. She got a Radley Walters medal for getting at least eight kills and a top gun for getting at least six, but she didn't get the high caliber in this game either. Uh, and the reason for that is that the uh, KV-85 on her own team managed 1,629, the OI managed 1,133, and the KV-2 1,116. And yes, I'm afraid she was actually down in 6th place, actually. I think, uh, is it 6th place? No, 5th place, with 773 hit points. 
but she did get the highest number of kills with eight. Three kills went to the KV-85, the OI, the SU-8, and that KV-2. When it came to base XP, it was the KV-85 did the best with 831, Sandra managed 642, and the Marder 38T managed 603. She fired 13 rounds in that game, got six direct hits, six penetrations, three splash, damage of 773 hit points, of which 691 were at more than 300 meters, one hit received by way of splash damage. The SU-8 got a near miss. Did do some damage but didn't kill. And eight enemy vehicles damaged, eight killed, and two stuns, but no stun assist off them. She earned 24,320 credits from the game, and after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 9,138 credits. 963 XP times 3 for the first victory took away 2,889 experience points altogether. So another two games where uh, Radley Waters was scored. I think of the two, the uh, Kamisak was uh, probably the more interesting one because he earned those kills so quickly by getting Bombardiers. But it was far more difficult for Sandra333 to get that win because she was under pressure all the time because that SU-8 was determined to kill her, but just couldn't get the shot to take her out. I hope you enjoyed both of those replays. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.